So Sahaba would do good deeds and they would regret that I don't know if my deed is accepted in the court of Allah or not. They would cry. This was the dua of Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu at the time of Tahajjud. Again, see, time is always against us. We start walking in at around 5 past 1 and you expect one another to stop at 10 past 1. How is it possible? Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu would cry in front of Allah and say, Oh Allah, كيف حالي يا إلهي؟ ليس لي خير العم. Oh Allah, I have no good deeds. This is Sahaba saying, and we boast on our deeds. Oh, I went, you know, the ninth time I went Hajj, I brought this Musalla. Why, why you have to tell us you went Hajj nine times? Just say, I went for Umrah, I went for Hajj, I brought this Musalla. You know that our 15th Hajj, we brought that Tasbih. Just bring that Tasbih, show it to Mulana. Why, why you have to tell me I, you, have, you went for 15 times for Hajj? Keep your, keep your deeds to yourself. So Sahaba would cry by doing good deeds. The Prophet asked at the time of Fajr, who done sadaqa? Abu Bakr raised his hands. I gave sadaqa. Who visited the sick? Abu Bakr raised his hands. I visited the sick. Who went for a janaza? Who attended the janaza? Abu Bakr raised his hands. I attended. All, all good deeds early in the morning at the time of Fajr. Sahaba also amazed. But look at his dua. His dua is, oh Allah, I have nothing in my plate. My basket is empty. My evil deeds are greater than my good deeds. Aisha radiallahu looking at the stars, she asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that is there anyone whose deeds are equal to the stars? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, yes, Umar. So Aisha radiallahu felt that, you know, I would have heard that Abu Bakr. So she said, what about my father? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, one night of Abu Bakr cannot equal the whole life of Umar. This was Abu Bakr and they would cry on their on their deeds. Today we do misdeeds and we do all sorts and we brag about it, we boast about it, we laugh about it. Why? Because we don't we don't have this in front of us that we're gonna go in our graves one day, we're gonna go to Akhirat one day. So nevertheless I was making mention of choices that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us every single day. The right choice will earn us the right reward, a great reward. And sometimes the wrong choice we make for us, for ourselves, sometimes for our children, for our family members, it can put us on the path of Jahannam. 